Hi, my name is Michael and I'll be giving you a quick tour of XBMC or Xbox Media Center for Windows. Uh, this is the main menu when you boot the program up and you can see uh, it's got functions for movies, TV shows, weather, as well as uh, configuring it, pictures as well. Uh, what I'll be showing you today is just the TV shows and the movies uh, categories of it. As you go into movies, this is the display I've chosen. It's called Wall Stream, and it basically shows all my movies as a big wall using the posters it's downloaded from IMDb. As you can see, the uh, plot comes up on the side, and this is all scraped from IMDb.com. You can change uh, to how you want from uh, to scrape from different sides. Um, I think it's a very nice kind of uh, view, but you can change it uh, to how you want to. You can see uh, cover flow, a panel stream which shows a bit of info on the side, as well as a media preview which I think is very nice as well. But um, yeah, as you can see, it gives you the you know plot and movie details, time and star ratings and that kind of thing. Another neat feature is you can see whether you've watched movies or not, so keep track of that. It's that little blue icon on the top right of the poster. But, uh, the view I like is wall stream, so this is pretty much just my collection of movies. A big wall. Uh, what it does is it catalogues all your movies from different sources into one place so I've got all these movies across a few different drives but it'll present it in the one, sh uh, one spot which is quite good um, I'll give you a quick look at what movies look like in it so as you can see the uh, on-screen display is uh, quite nice and you can control it with your keyboard or infrared remote or even your iPod if you've got the Intelli remote application. But, uh, that's kind of you know, how movies look like so I'm going to show you too much of that. Uh, the other part of this is TV shows. It's similar to movies in how it scrapes the information. But, um, I've got these catalogued differently. So you can see this is a list view, so it shows a bit of info on the side. Uh, same kind of thing as movies, but what I'll show you is um, this is the season view. It's got posters for each of the seasons. And if you want to go into seasons, it basically shows it like a, I guess as you would if you got a DVD and you put it in the player. So same kind of deal, got your blo uh, plot and you know watched icon, star rating, everything else. And uh, that's pretty much the TV show side of it. You can you know, sort it uh, differently if you want as well, cover flow. Since my uh, thumbnails are wide, uh, wider ones, it doesn't look too good here. But uh, you could choose what thumbnails you want and it could be kind of like a DVD cover art, that kind of thing. You get info list. These are better settings for TV shows. It's just easier to see what's or what you've got. Uh, what I have wide is the one. So yeah, that pretty much sums the TV show side of it up. Um, it collects its information from uh, the TV DB and uh, various other sites to uh, get the you know, thumbnails and whatnot. So it's all really neat how it all does it. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much that. Um, you're on your right, you've got your menu as well, which I'll give you a run through. It's the same for movies, but you can uh, search for movies or TV shows or episodes, and it can do a keyword search based on the plot, that kind of thing. Um, you've also got, you know, your playlists, which I haven't quite mastered yet. Uh, you can show fan art, that's for different modes. Um, you know, sort by name, year, whatever. That's pretty much that. Uh, you've also got 
capabilities for music and pictures as well, but I haven't got that set up, so I won't bother showing you today. Um, and as you can see in the file mode, which is the last thing I'll show you, this is how it, all my uh, stuff is set up. So you can see, you know, here this is sort of cataloging uh, the file mode. This is what it looks like. Usually have a list view. So you can change it to how you want it to suit you. And, uh, get back to library, and this is how I normally view it. And you can see the movie still running in the top left corner of the screen, uh, which is quite neat as well if you want to flip through your media. Um, and that's pretty much it a uh, tour of uh, XBMC.